Good morning everyone. So I hope everyone's sobered up after that last video. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to make another meal with my thrift store slow cooker uh, before I donate it back to them. And maybe this can be a video series theme, just uh, switching out thrift store cooking appliances and seeing what I can come up with. Wouldn't mind trying a toaster oven next. Maybe I can make some cookies in here. But uh, I'm going to go do some hiking today. But uh, before I go, I'm going to get the slow cooker going with uh, some lasagna. It is chilly out today, about minus 30, so I'm going to have to turn on the diesel heater real soon. Um, so sorry if there's a clicking noise in the background, but uh, i got to make up my meat sauce first. So I'm going to do that on the gas stove. i actually got to do most of the work with the gas stove, then uh, just assemble it in the slow cooker. I'm going to cook the beef first. Sometimes you go 50-50 beef and pork sausage, or you can go 95% uh, beef and 5% mouse. But I'm going to go 100% beef on this one. Okay, my beef is cooked and uh, I'm going to drain the fat off that, then I'll saute the, can you even see that? It's steamy in here. Uh, I'm going to saute the onions and garlic. So this is all cooked and ready to go. I'm going to add in my diced tomatoes, tomato paste and uh, tomato sauce. It looks like I'm going to be eating uh, lasagna for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next week. So I just put a layer of uh, ricotta, mozzarella, and parmesan, and now I just have to repeat meat sauce, noodles, cheese. I just put the last layer of my gigantic feast. Uh, I'm going to plug it in now. It should take about three to four hours on low to cook. Uh, that'll give me lots of time to go hiking, and by the time I get back, I should have a healthy appetite. So the slow cooker is only drawing about six and a half amps on low. I shouldn't have any problems uh, running out of electricity. But uh, one thing I noticed when I was cooking the pulled pork was that there was a really noticeable smell outside. So uh, it's a good thing the bears are hibernating right now. If this was a summer, uh, this could be a really terrible idea. I also just picked up this Fitbit Inspire HR. Uh, it logs my heart rate all day long. So when I get back, I can uh, upload that information to my phone and take a look. But uh, one thing I noticed about the app is that you have to be online and connected to their to their servers in order for it to work. So uh, I don't know what Fitbit's doing with that data, but uh, I've already got a Huawei phone and uh, I'm pretty sure the Chinese government has my fingerprints and all my personal data. So I'm pretty much just an empty shell of a person at this point. I think that it's called Castle Mountain. I'm wondering what the route up to the top is like. Sometimes uh, the wind blows it clear and it's no different than doing it in the summer. Some of these mountains when they first form they're up to 20,000 feet high. Among the highest in the world. But millions of years of erosion took them down a notch. The trail's starting to loop back now, about three hours into this. Starting to get excited for that lasagna. But it's not too steep across the top of that. I bet you I could get up there. Maybe another time. It is cold. Cannot wait to get back to the van and have that lasagna. Whew. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's almost here. <laughs> Excited. It's minus seven in here. As long as you might need some extra time to cook. Oh, 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 <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> Oh, this turned out so good. 
Well, I think that lasagna was one of the best meals I've had in the minivan yet. I'll try to post the link to the recipe below, but uh, it's looking like this video is going to be short and sweet. One of these days I'll get a 10 minute video in. Uh, maybe I can do a quick review of this watch before I go. It's just a basic activity tracker. It keeps track of your steps, heart rate, uh, calories and distance all uh, in real time. And you don't have to upload uh, your information to their website if you don't want to. Uh, you can just keep track on your wrist on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but then you're missing out on some of the some of the features like sleep tracking and just being able to look at all your activity history too. But uh, I didn't see the point of getting a full-featured smartwatch because my uh, smartphone already does most of those things. So uh, I just wanted something basic, and uh, this one seems to do a good job. So uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.